Hi, my name is Guy Wallace, and I'd like to speak to you about bolting on bookends to generic content. The performance competent needs back on the job of learners who are really performers are not well served by a content that is topic centric versus performance centric. So how do we avoid that? And what's the ideal model? I believe that performance competence needs are better served by a task and output centric set of content with advanced organizers and practice and feedback. There's a lot of generic content available everywhere. Books, articles, videos, audios, etc. What's missing is what makes it authentic. And in my model, that's advanced organizers, demonstrations on the front end, and demonstrations and application exercises on the back end. This is what will bring about a performance competence orientation to generic content. Again, on the front end, we need authentic advanced organizers, and we need authentic demonstrations before diving into the generic content, which may or may not be authentic enough. On the back end, we need, again, authentic demonstrations and authentic application exercises, what I call APOs. The authentic advanced organizers on the front end should provide a quick overall performance set of objectives and quick learning objectives to establish the relevancy of the content for the learners. Also, a quick overview of the content flow of info, demo, and appos should help the learner organize what they're about to participate in. The authentic demonstrations can be at regular speed an authentic demonstration that will resonate with the target audience. They should say, yeah, that's what I do back on the job. And you might also include slow motion demonstrations, a slower stop, go, back up and look at it again demonstration, pointing out the tricky and nuanced portions of the tasks and the outputs. On the back end, Authentic demonstrations might include the same demonstration that we've used on the front end or a slightly different one, again, at regular speed or at a slow motion speed. The application exercises must be authentic. That's best accomplished by using real work or simulated real work real work from last week or last month that somebody's already done, but we're going to use it as fodder for the application exercises. And of course, you must include the exercise post-exercise discussions and reflections in order to help make it stick. And you might need to ramp up from easy peasy exercises to those that are darn difficult to those from Hades, the worst performance situation that the learner might face to build confidence and capability in performing tasks that lead to outputs where both of them meet stakeholder requirements. Performance competence needs back on the job are served much better by a task and output centric set of content versus a topic set of content. And generic content that you'll find anywhere on the internet, in books, in articles, etc are not going to have that task and output centric set of content, not unless you just get lucky that day. Much of this is covered in my book, Lean ISD, which won an award from ISPI back in 2002. I've made the book available as a free PDF, and it's also available as a Kindle and as a paperback. I've been practicing ISD using these kinds of philosophies and approaches since 1979 and as an external consultant since 1982.
My methodology for ISD is under the banner labeled PACT, performance-based, accelerated, customer and stakeholder driven, training and development of any blend. I've been using master performers, other subject matter experts, supervisors, and sometimes novice performers to conduct accelerated analysis and design efforts since 1982. Achieve peak performance, protect and improve the enterprise. Leverage your current master performers for higher performance.